calculating loss given default parameters. We will first calculate a stochastic variable for loss given default. That is, the amount that is not covered by any collateral once a certain loan has defaulted. For this, there's available historic data on tab Recovery Data. Once the workbook has been opened, go to the Recovery Data tab. In here, we find a historic list of 300 defaulted loans. The Recovery Percentage column refers to the percentage of the loan that was recovered after it had been defaulted. There is no reason to believe that the fundamental nature of this historic data has changed. Therefore, we will use a fitted distribution to this historic data as an adequate proxy to calculating loss given default. 1. Place your cursor on cell B2 and select the whole range down until cell B301. 2. Click on the Distribution Fitting button in At Risks ribbon to proceed to fit a distribution to this data. The following window appears. 3. Go to the second tab Distributions to Fit and mark the lower limit fixed bound parameter in zero, since any recovery percentage rate will always be a positive number smaller than or equal to 1. Leave the upper limit on unsure, even though we know that this number has a natural limit of 1. 4. Proceed to fit. The following window appears. As observed, the best fitted distribution for recovery rate seems to be an exponential distribution according to the AIC and to all the other criteria except for KS. We will use this exponential distribution fit, limiting its extension with a truncation. 5. Click on Right to Cell button, skip the following window, and proceed to Next. 6. Place the results of the fitting procedure on top of cell params C33. Cell params C33 should now contain the following function. Equals risk expand 0.27765 comma risk name recovery close parenthesis. 7. If at this point you were to open this cell with that risks defined distribution button, the cell would look like this. Notice that an exponential distribution only requires one parameter, beta, which stands for its mean. This is the only piece of information that might, we might eventually require out of this cell. 8. Therefore, edit cell param C33 to leave it with only its parameter value of 0.27765. This cell has previously been declared as beta in Excel. We will come back to link this parameter value later on. This parameter beta is the mean recovery rate based on historic information, assuming it behaves exponentially.